Hey guys, I'm Scott. I'm one of the ophthalmology residents at IU and I'm going to go over the Parks 3-step test quickly with a diagram to help those who are wanting a diagram. Um, so you consider a patient has a right hypertropia at primary gaze. This hypertropia is worsened on the left gaze of the patient, which the problem or in the clinic may present as when the patient does a right head turn. So the patient's looking at you, that's where you determine primary when they're straight, and then you ask the patient, turn your head to the right while looking at me, that gives you a left gaze, and then say this patient also has problems with left tilt causing, left head tilt causing an uh, increase in angular deviation of the right eye, with more hypertropia. So first thing you do, throw up some H's here and then you put in which muscle in a, that particular spot for each eye um, is has a dominant action so this is the right eye this is the left eye while you're looking at the patient and this is the right inferior oblique right superior oblique left superior oblique left inferior oblique left superior rectus, inferior rectus, right superior rectus, inferior rectus. You can note that the uh, oblique muscles are towards midline and the rectus muscles are temporally. So now <coughs> you go through this pretty systematically where you have in a right hypertropia the right eye is drifted up or the left eye is drifted down. In order for the right eye to drift up you possibly may have a deficiency in your um, depressors, allowing these muscles to work more unopposed so that the eye drifts up, or the left eye relative to the right eye drifts down. And how that would happen is if you have weak um, elevators of the left eye. And then you go and look at the left gaze, and you essentially just figure out which direction is left for the patient. It should be over here in the right eye and over here in the left eye, and you can just circle those muscles. And then with left head tilt, you have to determine which muscles are torting the eyes in certain ways. So if you have a patient here and they're tilting their head to the left, terrible drawings, by the way, I apologize. So the eyes are kind of like that. Um, what the brain likes to do is keep the eyes towards the horizon or ground level as much as possible so that the eyes will tort in the opposite direction of the direction of the tilt. So the direction of the tilt is this way which is clockwise. The eyes will automatically, if, if things are normal, tort the opposite way. So they would go counterclockwise and then go this way. And so you consider midline <coughs> with the left eye it's going to in cyclotort the right eye is going to ex cyclotort so you need to determine which muscles do that for each eye and if you kind of think through this you have the globe and say this is the right orbit with the nose here and you have your rectus muscles <coughs> which attach at 23 degrees from the n this here and the oblique muscles attach 51 degrees. The superior muscles, whether it's the superior oblique or the superior rectus, in toward the eye when they pull, <coughs> whereas the inferior muscles, whether it's the inferior oblique or inferior rectus, X toward the eye. So essentially for the tilt, the head tilt part, you just need to determine which of the muscles you need to figure out based on the torque and then just pick if it's superior or inferior, depending on what you want. So for example, on a left head tilt, the left eye needs to intort. And the intorters are the superior muscles. So then you just circle the left superior muscles. And conversely, the right eye needs to ex-cyclotort, so it's going to be the inferior muscles. 
and then you pick the muscle that has been circled three times, which is this one here. The left superior rectus is what is causing this pattern on physical exam. Um, this one's only circled once, this one's once, this one's once, two, two, two. And one way you can kind of tell um, grossly whether or not you've done this right is you have a triangle here and then not a triangle here. So that's one way as you're doing is one should be a triangle, one shouldn't as you're going through these. So let me go ahead and do another example. We'll just go right, right, right to the right hypertrophy of primary, which is worsened with right gaze and right head tilt. And again, this is a left turn as well, which may be put into the question for OCAPs or whatever board's examination you're doing. First thing you do is throw up your H's and put your muscles in. It's probably the easiest way to mess this up is not putting the right muscle at the right spot if you're not paying attention. So you're right, <coughs> hypertropia, either the depressors aren't good or the left um, elevators aren't good. Right gaze, you essentially just circle whichever is that side of the patient. So this is the right side of the left eye and this is the right side of the right eye. Right head tilt. So the direction of the tilt is this way. So the eyes are going to do that. So the right eye is going to in cyclotort and the left eye is going to ex cyclotort. And if you remember that the in cyclotort are the superior muscles and then the ex cyclotorters are the inferior muscles. You have the left inferior oblique as the culprit. And then triangle, not a triangle. Two, 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 one, 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 three. So let's go and do a left, left, left pattern. Left hypertropia at primary person at left gaze and left tilt. Should be able to do these in about 30 seconds if you know if the question is that easy just asking which is the paretic muscle, it should be pretty pretty cake. This is probably the most important part. And labeling the right spots. Once you do that, you're pretty much home free. So left hypertropia, these depressors on the left side are either bad or the right elevators are bad. Left gaze, left, left head tilt. You're going to need to in cyclotort the left eye, which is the superior set of muscles here. And then you're also going to need to ex cyclotort the right eye, which is the inferior set. So, got your triangle here, and right inferior oblique is the culprit here. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, checking out the channel. I uh, hope you liked I hope this helps you. I hope this gives you a little bit more energy while you're taking your boards examination um, to help you out. If you have any questions you can message me on my YouTube channel um, or if you have improvements that you'd like me to do I can definitely try to do that but I just wanted this to be a kind of a quick and dirty sort of thing so you, you guys can easily look at this like 10 minute video and then know how to do a parts three step test using these diagrams really easily. Thanks so much. Hope you had fun.